I was shocked. I was surprised too because I was like, people in Harvard might be getting like you know 200k. Yes, but people in Harvard also get 50k. People in Stevens get 50k. People in Stevens also get one 200k, one 80k. So I'm. For, I would like to say that I am uh, the one, one of those people who actually is very much interested in computer engineering. Um, so like I, I was like that is one of the things I really wanted to do uh, for the longest time, uh, and so I was really glad that I did. I actually had, I also had a diploma in computer technology, and then I switched directly to the second year of my engineering, and so I have always been like you know in and around stuff in computer engineering. So like uh, my curriculum back like. Four years ago was wasn't as advanced as what it is now, uh, but then I used to like kind of do things by myself, uh, learn things by myself. Like I like Python is a default language in like they, they teach in Python now in computer engineering, but back in like when I was in undergrad, it was not like that. So I like, did I would go out of my way to like learn Python, learn web development, learn data science stuff like that. So that definitely was where I would spend most of my time. Um, here in the US, I did a master's in computer science, uh, focusing on data analytics and full stack web development from Stevens Institute of Technology in Hoboken, New Jersey, uh, which has been great. So, like, yeah, it was a, it was a. In my opinion, I had I learned well. I learned more in my master's than I did in my diploma and my degree combined. Well, there is two parts to this. Uh, I had help with my SOP, but so when the person I was getting help from, they were like, "Just answer these questions, and I will make an SOP for you." I did not like that. I was like, "This is not representing who I am." I kept the skeleton because it was good. The structure, I really appreciated the structure. I was just something I could not come up with, but I feel like I spent around. A week to ten days to kind of rewrite it to represent what makes me feel like okay, this is my SOP. Like, uh, like you know, there were there would be like unnecessary glorified words about myself in the SOP, which I did not really uh, like uh, connect with. And I was like, it's fine. You do not have to be the best person out there. You just have to be true to yourself. Um, so. Yeah, I uh, answered that questionnaire. I got a SOP. I rewrote my SOP. I took like seven, yeah, I think a week to like eight, nine days to kind of rewrite it. Uh, for like you kind of realize that you know a person cannot write an SOP for you. You know yourself better. So like their points came when I was writing, which are like, oh, this is something I've actually done, which I'm proud of, which I forgot to mention in that questionnaire. So uh, yeah, then it. I think it took me like around. Three weeks for this whole process, including the questionnaire. I think it's roughly around uh, eighteen thousand to twenty thousand, depending uh, on what how many courses you take. Whereas where you are in the in, in the semester, the second year is expensive than the first year, which is interesting. <laughs> uh, so like. I I was partly funded by my family uh, uh, and partly I, I took a student loan. However, I had I have a friend who has taken a hundred percent student loan, uh, and I feel like if you genuinely uh, like are serious about what you are doing, uh, that no, I I need to get this master's degree so that I can have a better career in life and like learn more. uh it's worth taking the loan and but if you are like even a little skeptical don't because then you wouldn't work hard enough because uh the loan is a big amount i think it's like a 40 40 lakh ish loan uh but i never had to worry and neither did my friend like we i never had to like i was never worried that how will i be able to repay it because i exactly knew why i had come here for 
what like what i wanted to do and i also well on the on the contrary partly because of my degree it's in computer science so it's kind of difficult to not get a job <laughs> um like you will land somewhere it might not be what you want it might not be the best case scenario but you will land somewhere but um uh yeah so i feel like if you are confident that you really this education is really going to help you in in your career and stuff like that so yes you can take a loan it, like please take a loan and come and get a masters degree and like have start your life but if you're not sure and hesitant then do it because it's a huge sum which you have to pay i was a naive uh, i did my research uh, and uh, so and what was told to me was yes indiana is a good university yes you will get a good education there uh, but since it's in the middle of nowhere uh companies don't really come in the career fair because why would anybody drive three and a half hours from chicago to them in the middle of nowhere uh so on the contrary new york uh, well stevens institute of technology is 25 minutes away from the midtown manhattan so you will literally have the entire city to network which i I've I've been told that my opinions are biased, but till two and a half years after being in and around New York City, I still do not regret that statement. That because there is just so much going on in New York City that it's it's a great place to be. You have amazing you meet amazing people. You well pre pandemic you used to have. networking event, casual networking events in microsoft headquarters and google's offices uh and i was told that companies prefer to come to stevens because uh it's closer to the to the city so big companies kind of just they just have to literally take a subway and they can reach our university and have take conduct interviews which was true uh so most of my friends uh and in my career fair a uh, three which i have um seen i have seen big companies and i have seen like microsoft and google having their own separate events in my university i have seen apple come in to hire for java developers i have come i have seen bank of america jp morgan goldman sachs insurance companies verizon so i personally feel that, that is a being close to new york city has definitely uh help which is also why i kind of chose stevens because i have since i come, i come from a place where i am more very comfortable uh learning stuff by myself uh i wanted that original that uh one i wanted to be one step ahead at least in the situation in in like you know in this country so being near close to new york city was like that extra step or added benefit for me I would so okay for for people in computer science like people in the mo- the tech side of things uh uh for well, also first of all you don't pay federal taxes when you're on a student on an student visa so that's a very good bonus which you like you get the money back which is great uh you can get up to $12000 back from the government in taxes uh so that is great uh, and uh, as like the minimum i have seen some uh, somebody make after their tech related degree is 65000 uh, dollars uh at that rate also i would say that you know well i there are two ways of doing this some people c- continue to live the student life uh which is like uh how they were living with roommates and like stuff like that so that their expenses are less and these expenses are exactly how they it was when they were a student and then they put uh, put, put out most of the money to pay their loan if you do like that you can very much pay your loan in like 2 to 2 and a half years uh uh so i mean if you decide to like you know 
loan is a priority for me and like i have to fill it no matter what so you continue living the student life uh so it can it can go some anywhere from one and half years to two and half years where you can actually pay your entire loan uh and like if you make more then it just get easier i mean i have i have a, f- a friend who is who got into walmart uh and i, I if i remember correctly i think it walmart ag- is okay to pay like half of the loan or something so that's like some something new big tech companies are doing is like they actually are willing to like pay some part portion of your loan while giving you a big paycheck so yeah and also fund your future education for free so any like uh, he was telling me that the walmart is walmart and i think a lot of big companies are doing that that they are actually funding your future education for free as well uh but yeah so if you make like on an if you make upwards of 80 and more then it is fairly easy to pay back your loan you can have a more uh substantial life uh living expenses and continue to pay your pay your loan in the time that that's not something you have to worry about so uh again you would be surprised because they they don't do that and i was shocked i was surprised too because i was like people in harvard might be getting like you know 200k yes but people in harvard also get 50k people in stevens get 50k people in stevens also get 1 200k 180k so they don't if you apply for a software engineer job at like big tech whatever range the company is offering you will get that range uh you will you will get more money if they think you are smarter not because you are in harvard well i don't know about harvard but maybe they pay you more because you are from harvard but if you are not in the big leagues if there is a top 20 colleges in the country anything after that they don't really discriminate i come from the department of computer science i have friends who have done bas- uh, business intelligence information systems computer engineering electrical engineering data science so all of the people i like from these degrees are in the same boat as i am i cannot comment on material engineering or mechanical engineering stuff like that <laughs>